Shout out to all the men, women, and service animals who have fought to defend this country and who continue to fight and defend the United States of America. Salute. Happy Fourth of July. Everyone else, welcome back to the channel. Joey Moss, Bad Boy Gaming. Let's get right up into this. We went to Target. Actually, I had this chilling for about two weeks now. Did not open it, but uh, I seen something new on the shelf. Nineteen dollars, ninety-nine cents, and you get one of these. Uh, yeah, there's some stuff inside. We're gonna find out what's all up in there in one minute. Right now, who can guess what those packs are? Go. All right, good luck. <laughs> and uh, let's see what's up inside of here. Now, the mystery cache. It's really not that big of a mystery. I don't recommend. I really don't recommend anyone going out and buy these. Um, I did it just for uh, the heck of it. Um, content. It's good stuff. But you can unlock hidden secrets. Power up the def deck building arsenal with the Magic the Gathering Mystery Cash. I like Cache better. It's more fun. Each box contains five booster packs, including one mystery pack selected from among some of the most beloved sets in modern Magic the Gathering history. It said modern. Technically, I guess they are all modern. One mystery booster pack from Magic the Gathering Modern History. Plus a spin down life counter. If that's Dragon's Maze, um, I might have a conniption fit. I'm just saying. I might just have a conniption fit. Six. Eight. We are getting closer. Day by day. We are getting closer. We got Kaladesh. Amonkhet. Hour of Devastation, Ixalan, and Oath of the Gatewatch. Wouldn't that be something? I've heard stories from people who have pulled uh, some nasty stuff, some expeditions out of just random little pickups like this, and they had Oath of the Gatewatch, um, or they had Battle for Zendikar, and what did they pop out of it? Some nasty sauce. Uh, let's go, I think Hour of Devastation, uh, probably, oh, it's tough. Boom, boom, boom. Here, um, I mean, technically, I think that's how it would go, but we're going to save both for last. Of course, there are invocations, provocations, all types of stuff up inside of these. There could be. You really never know. And that's the fun. That's the mystery inside. Let's see what happens here. Um, by the way, learn something new watching PewDiePie. I don't know how many PewDiePie fans are out there, but I started taking more of a liking to him over the past year um, as I uh, have become more accustomed to being on YouTube and whatnot. And I noticed... Um, or I learned something, I should say, from one of his... We got a Braid, that's nasty. And a Hazard's Undying for, uh, Fury. God Pharaoh's Faithful Foil. I like that shiny little orb there. Someone's like, that's a lantern dummy. Well, it might be. And that's a kitty scratch. Uh, but I learned something. And uh, I didn't know this. But that bell, if you want notifications, is extremely important. I guess YouTube came out. Uh, they, they straight up said this. Um... <laughs> seen in one of his videos that um, just being a subscriber to a channel is not going to guarantee that it pops up in your feed that there's a new video out. It just doesn't, which is kind of silly. And a lot of people, a lot of uh, fans of YouTubers have been complaining about this for some time. That's the reason that they subscribe to a channel is so that they can watch that content and be alerted when a new video pops up because you want to watch your favorite YouTubers, you know. But that's not the case unless you're hitting the bell button to get alerts. Um, they said a lot of times they just won't alert people. They can be subscribed, doesn't matter. Um, they won't even want to, again, it won't pop up in the feed, which is ridiculous. Irrigated farmland, we're not doing too bad right now. Full art mountain, but the curvature on these, not too good though. Not too good. I am currently in my boxers. Actually, briefs. Uh, but it's not, the curvature is bad. Um, but anyway, back to the PewDiePie video. I was blown away by that. I'm like, no freaking way. Like, I had no idea. Uh, but it made sense because I've always been wondering, like, what's going on with all this, you know? And I learned a lot of other things, too. Like, depending on your content, I'm not going to give away everything, but depending on the content, you know, um, it will be in the recommended area a lot more uh, if you do X, Y, and Z and stuff like that, you know? It's very interesting, though. Um, definitely when you're swearing and stuff, your videos are less likely to get shared. Which would explain why the decline of my videos lately, because we did get a little naughty in some videos, but I have since demonetized all those videos because we're getting hit after hit. 
and I'm loving this. Going right to Itlamok. Woo! Baby! I, I'm on fire up in here, daddy. Oh, daddy, oh. Nasty. You guys know I love this car. It's like a mini guy's cradle. Say it every freaking time I pull it. We are on to a sweet roll right now. Like, the trumpets are blaring. The rockets are, 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 are glaring. Uh, people are staring because I'm weird. Um, but, you know, that's just kind of what happens in one of these videos. Um, so, yeah, anyway, I learned a lot of stuff I didn't know. Put it that way. I learned a lot of stuff that I did not know. And it, it, it was good to it was good to hear. It was good to know. You know. Now, now I'm a little more in the know. So there you are. There you have it. You know. Uh, we got a harsh scrutiny. I'll have been it. Wisp Weaver Angel. Spark of creativity and a panharmonic. And wow, every single pack. I think like every all these so far have been five bucks and up. That's ridiculous. We are actually going to get our money back on this. I believe. I think panharmonic is still up there. Growing rights is like five irrigated farmland, about four. Hazards on Dying Fury, maybe a nickel. Be lucky. You'd be lucky to get that shiny nickel right there, Bill. Shiny little nickel, Bill. Oh, yeah. Oath of the Gate Watch. Come on with it. So, yeah, make sure if you guys really enjoy my content, make sure you hit the, uh, the bell. Otherwise, you're not going to know. You will never know. You, you, you won't always know. Oh, a waste. I forgot about these. Got to put those aside. Love them. Um, you will uh, not always be alerted. These totally feel weird. Like, they completely feel different than the other cards. Like, very, um, like, more crispy. More crispy cream. Oh, I love crispy cream donuts. Have you ever had some crispy cream donuts? Uh, we pulled a Mon Mondo's Vanguard all up in it. And a Full Art Island. And Eldrazi Scion. What do you know? What do you freaking know? What do you know, baby? What do you know? Moving forward, we got one of these. One of these guys. Always the Bristling Hydra. They must have made... A billion of these foil bristling hydras because anytime you see one of these promos in a specially little marked cube like this, guess what's up inside of it? Nine times out of ten. Gee, Mr. Moss, I can't. I, I, it's too much. It's too much, Mr. Moss. I have no idea what's gonna be inside there. Please unlock the mystery. Please unlock the mystery of what could be what's what the promo is we're gonna get inside of one of these. Well, I don't want to give it away yet. You'll have to wait till we open it up. Uh, this is re really difficult. Why would they make it like this? Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. This is so hard to open. Ugh, there we go. There we go. Slide it out out there. And the surprise is... Oh, we got the Bristling Hydra promo. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. See, that is amazing. That is simply amazing. That is amazing. Salute! All right. Born of the Gods. Aether Revolt. Why does this feel so loose? I don't like that. That's what he said. Uh, Innistrad. I guess they had to shove it in the... They had to shove him in here really hard. Uh, another Innistrad. Amonkhet. And Ixalan. Let's get to crapping, Captain. Welcome to the stabbing cabin. Woo! Dire Fleet Hoarder. Oh, yeah. Tomorrow, don't forget to tune in. Guess why? We're cracking open. Corset 2019. Entrancing Melody. I like the name Entrance. It's fun. You ever fall into a trance? You ever fall into a deep trance? You ever, uh... That artwork's pretty cool. I never pointed that out yet. It's like a festering, steamy swamp, uh, basically. You ever fall into a deep trance? Not the medically prescribed one, but a deep trance. I have not. So there's that. All right, moving forward. Descent of the Reverence. Lord of the Accursed. Cool little lord there. That was uncommon. It was it was fun to see that. They really tried giving zombies a run. Uh, Arcfiend of Efner. There's that. Any foil? Nope, we've got the Full Art Island. That's cool. We will take Mr. Full Art Islands over there. I think I have a promo of that. If I'm not mistaken, I think someone sent me one. And I thought that was pretty gnarly of them, so thank you. Or I pulled it. Something like that happened. I'm not really sure. I'm not really too sure there, Tugga. I'm not too sure, Tugga. Who's Tugga? Someone tell me what Tugga's from. All right, you want to fight? Let's go, Tugga! Who can tell me what that's from? Uh, Avicenia and Missionaries. Sage of Ancient Lore. So we got two rares all up in one. Corrupted Graphstone. Uh, enters the battlefield tap. Choose a color of a card in your graveyard. Add one mana of that color to your mana pool. If it didn't come in tapped, that'd be a really sweet card. I don't know why they couldn't just make it like that. Um, maybe it would see too much play, I guess. 
Maybe. Maybe no, may, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, them Delvers. Them them Delver diving uh, stuffers. Yeah, that's stuff and nonsense. They'd probably be playing that. Is that right? Delp? Yeah, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. Sure. Flashbackers? Them flashbackers. You gotta watch out for them flashbackers, let me tell you. Pick the brain. Picking it. Mad Prophet. Humble. The brute. Falcon Wrath Gorgia. Ooh, a Gat Staff Awesomeness. Corman. Got a Corman there. Howl Pack Wolf Foil. That's pretty legit. I don't know if I've ever pulled one of those. Nice and shiny. Yeah, it's nice and shiny. Sometimes you just gotta look at it. Angel Token 4 4. Sometimes you just gotta look at it, and that's all you can do. <laughs> that was terrible. <laughs> Trophy Mage, I'll admit it. Deft Dismissal. Barricade Breaker. Heart of Quran, baby! Give me some of that. Precise Strike. Heart of Quran, nasty. Making a small little comeback there. Flying Vigilance, crew of three. You may remove a loyalty counter from a planeswalker you control rather than pay Heart of Quran's crew cost. Pretty nasty. Because crewing three is pretty uh, pretty brutal there. Uh, and you can make a, yeah, you can, uh, Gideon. Hey, Gideon, what's up? Throw Gideon up in there. What's good, man? Just throw him up in there. Why? Why? Because he has a low casting cost. That's why. And he's still legal, right? There you go. Sure. There you go. Uh, my sorting skills. Do not pay attention to the person sorting these cards right now. Everything will be sorted correctly after this video. Thank you. Thank you very much. Sky Reaping. Born of the Gods. Come on, be good to me, baby. Forge Stoker Dragon. I do like my dragons. Not too bad. We will freaking take it. Uh, and a soldier. Soldier token. Nice shiny little token there. It's not shiny. They don't. They didn't do that back then until uh, the onset that came out not long ago. Now you know. Well, guys, that's about it. Um, I do appreciate you tuning in. Uh, make sure you hit the like button. And also, make sure you actually uh, hit the uh, bell. Because that's the way... Uh, the cool kids do it these days. Uh, sorry. We'll see you later. Peace.